This video was made in collaboration with Narutopedia. For more information, check out the link in the description. The Life of Indra Otsutsuki from Naruto Indra Otsutsuki was the firstborn son of Hagoromo Otsutsuki. He was initially thought to be the most suitable successor of his father's teachings. However, it was his younger brother Asura that ended up inheriting this mantle, a decision that would lead the two brothers to fight against each other. Indra is also credited with being the creator of ninjutsu and the progenitor of the Uchiha clan. Welcome to the Amagi! In today's video, we're going over the life of Indra Otsutsuki. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. But first, I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. It can be hard to keep track of all the amazing features Squarespace offers, so let's talk about a few of our favorites. If you'd ask us what's most important in building an online venture, we'd say that it's content ownership, and Squarespace provides you with just that by letting you retain full ownership of all the content released using their service. If you'd rather work as a team, easy. Squarespace's platform offers room for several content creators to work at once. The site allows you to give selective editing roles to users through the website manager, so if you only want a user to be able to edit certain pages, you can set that in their permissions. They also allow you to easily import media into your site, whether it be traditional such as pictures and videos, or modern such as social media posts and a commenting system. We'll let you in on a little secret. Every annual Squarespace account comes with a free domain name for the first year of subscription, making it easier than ever to make your site go live. So what are you waiting for? Go to squarespace.com amagi and enter the promo code amagi to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. Background In the anime, despite the loss of his mother following problems with his younger brother Asura's birth, Indra's childhood was still peaceful and joyous, spending his time either blissfully alongside his father and brother Asura, or regularly reading his father's books and journals. Under their father's tutelage, the two brothers studied Ninshu in the hopes of one of them becoming the great sage's successor. As Indra continued to amaze all with his natural capacities and advanced growth rate, he began showing his ingenious side, realizing how Chakra could be altered to perform more versatile feats. Soon afterwards, the other Ninshu followers learned from Indra's example and began using this new innovation to improve the quality of life for both themselves and the village. While initially proud of his discovery, Indra grew concerned when he noticed that everyone began focusing more on physical growth rather than spiritual, as what was meant for Ninshu. Periodically, Black Zetsu would secretly approach Indra alone, goading him with praises and curiosity towards Indra's true potential, even going so far as to say he could rival, if not surpass, the Sage of Six Paths himself. After awakening his Sharingan, Indra began to take to heart the mysterious figure's praises, focusing solely on his training and growing colder and more distant to others, including his brother. Eventually, Hagoromo decided to choose his successor based on the performances of his sons, by tasking them each with aiding the revival of a foreign land. Upon arriving at his destination, Indra learned that the land was in reality very fertile due to the existence of a god tree sapling. However, he also realized that it caused the people there to gradually grow sick from relying on its nutrients. Deciding to resolve things quickly, Indra used his Sharingan to force the villagers to destroy the sapling and discover water. Upon returning home, Indra was surprised that Hagoromo chose to wait for the return of Asura as well before making his decision for successor. While respecting his father's wish, Indra grew restless, something that Black Zetsu picked up in another meeting, noting that Indra's vision of the future differed from Hagoromo's. A year passed since the two brothers received their respective missions, and Indra continued training others while starting again to appreciate the company of people. Eventually, Asura returned, but with many people from the village he was sent to who helped him complete his mission. Asura then met with his brother to hear Hagoromo's final decision. When their father chose Asura to carry on the dream of establishing peace throughout the world, Indra was enraged and jealous that his younger brother was chosen over him, and more so that his father noted Indra's inability to acknowledge others while focusing on power power as a factor in his decision. While Hagoromo tried to reason with Indra, noting that the village he helped had ultimately destroyed itself after he left due to the villagers recklessly fighting over the water, his words fell on deaf ears. In the anime, growing so bitter towards his family while simultaneously reveling in his growing power, he came to view his father's ninshu as incomplete and cowardly, and wanted to change it into ninjutsu to reflect his views of using power to create peace and order. 
To ensure he was powerful enough to challenge his father and brother, and realizing that his eyes grow stronger from personal loss, he secretly killed his two closest friends to awaken the Mangekyo Sharingan. On the night of Asura's celebration as the successor, Indra attacked the village, voicing his disdain for his family and Ninshu, insisting that ninjutsu was superior and the true means for peace. With sadistic joy, he attacked Asura, who surprised the older brother with his growth in repelling the attack. Determined to crush his brother and take his desired position as the true bringer of peace, Indra unleashed his Susano. While Asura was able to hold his brother off, having manifested his newfound power that was passed on to him from Hagoromo, Indra's massive construct began overwhelming him. Hagoromo then had the village all share their chakra with Asura, which allowed him to fully manifest his powers and unleash the wood release. Combining this with the Six Path Senjutsu, Asura was able to defeat Indra, who, still refusing to acknowledge his brother, was forced to retreat. Years later, Indra went into hiding and formed a sect that supported ninjutsu. As Hagoromo was rendered bedridden as he neared the end of his life, Indra approached his estranged father, boldly telling him that his cowardly approach to peace would only bring about greater wars, which Indra would take advantage of to destroy Ninshu while vowing to do so in as many reincarnations as necessary. Legacy Indra's invention of ninjutsu would later become prominently recognized for jump-starting the Age of Shinobi in history, though many credited Hagoromo as its creator rather than Indra himself, a fact that became forgotten to time. Though his body was destroyed, Indra's chakra would continue to exist. His chakra reincarnated into various individuals throughout history, and his reincarnations would also inherit his will. Indra's desire for his father's title led to centuries of bloodshed and conflict between his and Asura's descendants. The descendants of both brothers continued this feud for centuries to come. Indra's eventual descendants, the Uchiha clan, would feud with Asura's eventual descendants, the Senju clan. Neither clan knew why or how their hatred of the other came to be. During the Warring States period, Madara Uchiha was his reincarnation. With his help, Hashirama Senju, the reincarnation of Asura at the time, created the very first shinobi village. Konohagakure, and helped set up the contemporary ninja system. However, due to his ambition, insecurity, and Black Setsu's machinations, Madara defected and resumed his conflict with Hashirama. After their final fight at the Valley of the End, Madara stole Hashirama's DNA, which he later implanted into his wounds. A portion of Asura's chakra merged with Indra's chakra within Madara, and eventually he awakened the Rinnegan, something Hagoromo warned against. Madara and Hashirama dead, the transmigration cycle resumed. Sasuke Uchiha became the latest inheritor of Indra's chakra and will, with Naruto Uzumaki inheriting Asura's chakra and will. Due to the centuries-old conflict that arose from Indra's hatred, and Hagoromo's decision to anoint Asura, Hagoromo's spirit decided to grant his powers to both Naruto and Sasuke when he was able to appear before them. He hoped that the hatred felt by Sasuke would turn into love, and that his son's reincarnations would be able to work together. Ultimately, Naruto managed to accomplish what all the other previous reincarnations had failed to do, and the rift between the two lines of reincarnated brothers. Naruto achieved this after defeating Sasuke, who finally accepted Naruto's ideals at the end of their fight. This brought about the end of the bitter feud that had lasted for centuries. According to Black Zetsu, the reincarnations of Indra and Asura were almost always in conflict with each other and rarely worked together. Naruto and Sasuke are one of the exceptions, assuming other exceptions have existed throughout the centuries. Personality in the anime, as a young child, Indra was a carefree and loving person who looked after and played happily with his younger brother. A very mature boy, he understood the importance of patience and thinking things through. He was very protective of his younger brother and worried about the future of Ninshu when others began to deviate from its original nature following his discovery of chakra transforming. Even after he was revealed as a prodigy, he took the praises of others with modesty since he only wanted to help others. He was also very committed to his studies and regular practice. However, after being manipulated with such praise by Black Zetsu and learning more about his true power, Indra reveled at how impressive he perceived his own capacities and potential to be, to the point where he was proud of being different and expected perfection from himself and others. He became very independent, as was evident from his determination to walk his own path unaided. As he did everything by his own power alone, he believed power and force could achieve anything, even peace, which was an ideology he shared with his grandmother. As such, he grew very stern in enforcing the law, believing there are no exceptions whatsoever. 
Despite also this, he was able to keep his jealousy of Asura becoming Ninshu's successor in check and held no ill feelings toward his brother and father, whom he loved and respected greatly. However, these lingering feelings of rejection from his father allowed Black Zetsu to convince him to take the title for himself as it was his birthright, which led Indra to challenge his father's decision. This caused the love Indra had for his father and brother to ultimately turn into hatred, and wanting the title of Ninshu's leader for himself. Indra's hatred and ideology would have dire consequences for his descendants. Even more in the anime, Indra came to view Ninshu as an incomplete and cowardly means for achieving peace, and thus sought to change it to a means of using power itself to enforce peace. His desire for power and pride in his independence went so far as to willingly kill his two best friends to accomplish both goals, even through tears and apologies. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.